One minute on my mark. Mark. Minus 30 seconds. T minus 10. Engine ignition. Main engine start. And we have lift off of and carry for the NG 15 mission. The long flight facility. Engines are at 100%. Attitude, core pressures, and people subsistence are nominal. The SS Catherine Johnson takes flight on this, the 59th anniversary of John Glenn's Mercury flight, carrying 8,000 pounds of cargo to the International Space Station. Good performance on the first stage so far. Engines at 100 percent, all systems nominal. performance, engines at 100%, good, good core pressures. Engines remain steady, added to nominal. Max Q, added to nominal. First stage passing through the area of maximum dynamic pressure on the rocket. 90 seconds into the flight. This first stage burns for a little over three minutes, three minutes, 18 seconds until main engine cutoff. About 90 seconds to stage one burnout. Attitude nominal. Engines at 100% and steady. T plus two minutes. All subsystems continue in nominal performance. All systems, subsystems are nominal. Uh, we'll be ready to shift down to 80% uh, on the engines at 170. Start up slow throttle down. Throttling down at three minutes into the flight, main engine cutoff coming soon. Throttle down to 55%. Main engine cutoff. We have Miko, and Terry's entering into a coast stage. Fairing separation will occur about 30 seconds later. As we lose sight of the vehicle, now switching to animation. Some controlled firings uh, on the interstage of the rocket. Attitude nominal, good separation. Twenty seconds to stage two ignition. All subsystems nominal. 
fairing separation, interstage separation. Confirm fairing separation and interstage. Stage two ignition. Stage two ignition confirmed. Stage two is a solid rocket motor burns for about two minutes, 44 seconds. Stage two will continue to burn for another approximately two minutes. Altitude 138 kilometers. Uh, mission time, 300 seconds, velocity 4.8 kilometers per second, altitude 150 kilometers. All systems continue to perform nominally. Good calls, 5 minutes 15 seconds into today's flight. Stage 2 motor pressure, nominal. Attitude nominal, uh, altitude is 170 kilometers, uh, roughly one minute to stage two burnout. All stage two and GNC parameters continue to be nominal. Six minutes, 15 seconds into the flight, uh, coming up on stage two burnout of that solid rocket motor that'll initiate a two minute coast period until uh, second stage separation. Stage two, starting to tail off. Roughly 15 seconds to burn out. Stage two burnout, attitude nominal. Stage two burnout, good attitude. Uh, we'll in, we're in a coast period now. Cygnus to exposed after that uh, fairing separation and will continue to carry the second stage with it until about nine minutes into the flight. Nominal. Attitude nominal. Uh, attitude nominal. Uh, expected uh, attitude control system thruster firings uh, received, uh, continuing on course. Roughly one minute to payload separation. Altitude 185 kilometers. Velocity 7.5 kilometers per second. All systems continue to operate as expected. Approximately 30 seconds to uh, spacecraft separation. Attitude nominal. Systems continue to perform as expected. Uh, attitude corrections uh, maintaining uh, expectations. LCGSO, I just released red team to the pad. Copy that. 
spacecraft separation. Confirmed. Nine minutes into today's flight, Cygnus has separated from the second stage. LC Ace, that concludes our callouts. Copy that, Ace. Okay, uh, NG-15, excellent job today. Let's go ahead and wrap up through this post-launch checklist. Um, and Prop 1, uh, uh, can you report on status of uh, pulse purging? Uh, pulse purging has just started. Copy that. We'll check 430. And uh, GNC-1LC, uh, when you have uh, the uh, Antares date factor to uh, the Cygnus POC emailed and confirmed, uh, give me a call back on step 431. Copy and work. From the Wallops Range Control Center in Wallops Island, Virginia, some celebratory fist bumps as they successfully delivered Cygnus into orbit, a nine-minute flight on top of Antares from Virginia Space's uh, Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport uh, into orbit, uh, Cygnus now flying free. The SS Katherine Johnson in-flight will make its uh, one-and-a-half-day uh, journey, uh, just a little shy of two days, uh, to the International Space Station, arriving in the wee hours uh, early morning on Monday, February 22nd.